today. From London, England, it's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. Jacksonville Jaguars taking on Desmond Ritter and the Atlanta Falcons. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we are underway here in London. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense. And at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. The Falcons got their feet wet with Ritter during a four-game audition last season. And he did end their year with a pair of wins optimism reigns that he is their quarterback of the future. First play is Ritter. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Second and ten. Here's Ritter. Short throw caught by Pitts. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Okay, so the personal foul penalty. And those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Ritter to throw it. This one complete to Scott Miller. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Right, right. 
Off the play fake, it's Ritter. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Robinson will try to pick it up. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Ritter now. And this pass is caught by London. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 24 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Working from the gun, Ritter. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Touchdown, Falcons! Scotty Miller, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Well, the Jaguars ready to go on offense for the first time, and they're led by the former number one pick in the draft in his third season now, Charles, Trevor Lawrence. Last year, we got the Trevor Lawrence and so many tabbed to be the savior of the Jaguars. He broke 4,000 yards for the first time and threw 25 touchdown passes and guided his team to the playoffs. This young man, he's been good since the first time he picked up a ball in youth league. They expect nothing less from him again this season. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A man coming off an 1,100-yard campaign last year. Here's Travis Etienne. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Dancing to his left. And Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down in the process. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that will bring up second down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Lawrence going to get this to ETN, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a throw. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Throw on first down with Lawrence. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Hey, 
Here comes third down at seven. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. They run. It's Johnson. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Ready, break. Ritter on first and 10. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. The Ritter's throw taken in by London. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Ritter. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he's got this down to the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first and 10, it's Robinson, and he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Second down and a run by Robinson, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, yeah you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Ritter from the gun. That's out wide here for Robinson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, 
I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. But they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack, down he goes. Bud Dupree off the edge and getting to the quarterback. They found his way into the backfield and he simply would not be denied. But they say that life's all about opportunities and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Caught by Jones. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. ETN up the middle. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. field tackling there a 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return and it will be Falcon football Atlanta regains possession of the football and they're not going to play this conservative I don't think they had the field goal last time and they're up but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone oh I agree with you totally no one is goes out on the field and says all right let's just settle for three except in certain situations trying to ice a game that sort of deal most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. First down, here's Ritter. Miller on the catch over the middle. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 
Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Ritter. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Ritter will set up to throw it. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Looking to throw once more. Here's Ritter. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well, inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He connected on his first, this from 41. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with Lawrence's arm, they may give him a shot to let this thing rip downfield. We'll see. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three.
As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Jaguars ready to get going to start quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now Lawrence to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 to 14 throwing the football. 50% typically not going to get it done, is it? Well, let's just make it simple. And that's exactly why they trail. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Running out of the gun with ETN. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Well, it's not time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. First and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 17-yard line. Ritter back to throw. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. There it is, a staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a back, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, that is tough on inside linebackers. One false step, and that ball's completed. First and 10, it's Patterson. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. So 
after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll look to throw here. Looking for London on the out route complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 41-yard line. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now back to throw. Short throw caught by Pitts. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. the 34 yard line here's second and three they'll set up a throw right back to Pitts again and Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he'll get this down to the 30 yard line back to back receptions for him and it's another first down many different ways to create space but on that play he did it with that big wide body of his didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play but it did what it was supposed to pick up a first down they'll run this one right with Robinson and they move this all the way down to the nine that burst good for 20 and a first down looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard to throw now he's got it nice gain of eight that time and it's second and goal they gave up the completion there but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch good yardage on first down now can they punch it in on second and goal looking to throw Touchdown! Scotty Miller with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Now Arthur Smith going to tell the offense to stay put. We're going for two. Ritter will throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. the touchdown now it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. 
I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Well, they've certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. National Football League on EA Sports. From midfield now, Lawrence. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's Lawrence to throw. A very quick pass to Ridley. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 37 yards. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. ETN. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So take away the touchdown. It's kind of been one of those games for these guys. I think it's safe to say that that type of a play just added to their misery, right? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Lawrence will throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Here's a give to ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have. And what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Now this likely a must-have, third and goal. Let's get it Let's get it. Hey. Hey. Now Lawrence. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Evan Ingram, a 14-yard touchdown. 
And the Jaguars are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. All right, so this one not quite over yet. Back to a two-score game, CD. Yeah, and you've still got four-plus minutes to go, so when you think about comebacks, it's happened before. Now, it hasn't happened often, but you've got to think to yourself, let's be the next great comeback story and play this one out. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. That time, a six play drive, and Evan Ingram able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula, just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. As to you said big third down, I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, Robinson. He gets away from one. And he is going to have the first down. And that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Ready. 
Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Robinson on a give right side. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. And it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. 64 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. In victory formation as they take a knee. should be enough to finish this one off. Time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say cheerio from London.